Hey guys, I thought I'd show you a quick tip on how to improve your render speeds. I actually discovered this recently. I've got a 5950 uh, processor and my graphics card is a 3080 Ti. And uh, currently the settings are on AMD Ryzen 5950X. And if we render this out, I'm just going to show you the different render speeds and you can judge for yourself what is better. And this is all using the Optics system. Uh, this is Optics, but it's set to use the CPU power, which is 16 cores. It's pretty fast. Um, obviously, it's much slower than a graphics card, which we'll change to. And then after that, I'll show you a slightly faster way on how to uh, get your renders out there even faster. And as you can see, this is so far on just hit 30 seconds. If you look at the top left hand corner where the mouse is, it tells you how long this render is taking. And uh, this is the scene I randomly created in my last tutorial um, using the array modifier. So I thought, why not quickly just show this thing that someone pointed out to me? So, yeah, let's watch this render out. We are, so this scene with the 5950X is already about a minute long in its render cycle, but it's reaching the end, which is great. And uh, yeah, we are almost there. We are now on a minute 13, minute 14. There we go. And it is done on a minute 22, 90 seconds. So how do we speed this up? Well, the obvious thing, if you've used Blender before, you know that you would just go to preferences and you would change to your RTX 3080 Ti. Um, so once you've done that, you render this out from 1 minute 38, well, wait, 1 minute not 22, whatever it was. 1 minute 22, 90 was the last session. So we can compare it now because we can see the last session over here. I can, we can see the current time with the 3080 Ti. And uh, it's moving much faster as we can see, but it's a single unit of processing power scanning the area using optics. This is quite a large scene, um, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer than, than usual. Um, it would destroy my laptop if I try to render this out on my laptop. Alright, we're reaching the end. 1 minute 22.90 is what we have to beat. Oh, there we go. We're on 42.12, which is great time, really, really fast. Now, if we want to speed this up even more, we can use both the CPU and the GPU. I wasn't aware that you could use both uh, with Optics. I'm sure you can do it with other with CUDA as well. But I'm going to use Optics because Optics is the fastest. Optics is faster than CUDA and it's faster than None. It's the fastest thing if you have it available to you. None is what you have if you've got nothing. CUDA, if you've got CUDA, use it. It's always fa faster than None. But Optics is real-time real ray tracing. It's always faster. Now that we've got this, we're going to render this out and let's see if we can beat the existing scene using both the CPU and the GPU. Now it's not just one dot moving fast, it's just other dots in between scanning the area as you can see in the middle here, trying to get a little bit extra done. We're trying to beat 42 seconds uh, and 12. I expect this should be on about, I don't know, maybe 28. Um, and it's only because I have other applications running in the background that might be slowing this down, but yeah. 28, 29. So now it took 29, 29. And that is half the speed. So you've doubled your render speed by using both your CPU and GPU. Hope you enjoyed this test. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.